Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing some daily habits with you guys that keep me from spiraling into a depressive episode. When it comes to staying mentally strong and healthy, prevention is the best medicine. Because no matter how mentally tough we are, no matter how many resources or supports we have, it's just really hard and near impossible to pull yourself out of that negative spiral once you fall into it. And I am currently in the process of breaking up with my old self and building a relationship with my new self so let's dive right on into some of the habits that I have been practicing to build the foundation of the relationship with my new self so our first habit and our most important habit is mindfulness this is something that I will try and practice no matter how low and no matter how high I'm feeling in short mindfulness is the best way to train and control our attention so when we practice mindfulness our thoughts tune into what we're sensing in the present moment rather than rehearsing the past or imagining the future which is where our thoughts tend to run away with us mindfulness means paying full attention to something it means really slowing down to focus on what you're doing it's the complete opposite of rushing or multitasking mindfulness is basically the complete opposite of how we are expected to live in this day and age like with the constant hustles culture and society so there are two main ways to practice mindfulness the first one is through a guided mindfulness practice which I do every week in therapy the guided mindfulness practices are amazing when you're starting out with mindfulness because it's guiding you through it so it's teaching you you're training your mind for a fixed period of of time in the day and then the second way to practice mindfulness is just ordinary mindfulness um doing it during routine tasks in your day so this is the part where most people miss is implementing it in their day-to-day -day life because that's where you're going to reap the benefits and when you're not implementing it into your day-to-day -day, like you're having your shower you're going for your walk you're you know eating your meal mindfully if you're not implementing it then it's going to be near impossible for you to tune into being mindful if you are a bit more distressed or you know you need it in a more difficult situation so every day i'll pick a task whether it's eating a meal going for a walk having a shower and I will make sure to be so mindful during that task um a lot of people think that when you're be doing mindfulness that your mind has to be empty of thoughts but that is not the case at all the idea behind mindfulness is to notice your thoughts without becoming attached nor pushing them away so just say I'm going for a walk and I'll really tune into my five senses paying full attention to what I'm hearing what I'm smelling what I'm seeing and you know I, I'm constantly going to have thoughts trying to pull my attention back from what I'm actually doing I'll notice that and I'll just let it come and I'll let it go I won't grab onto the thought I'll just go oh I've had a thought that I need to do this task tomorrow for work okay and um, the flowers are really pretty then flowers are really yellow there's a lovely glow off them like I'm constantly pulling my attention back to what I'm focusing on it's not about having your mind completely empty it's just being aware of what you're focusing your attention on I also practice mindfulness of current thoughts which is noticing your thoughts and radically accepting them as they are sensations of the brain that come and go observing your thoughts helps you separate yourself from your thoughts and it helps you to figure out what is a fact what is a thought and what is an emotional reaction that you're having to a thought distance also helps you realize that you're not your thoughts and you are most importantly not defined by your thoughts a little practice that i find really helpful with this is imagining a conveyor belt in front of me with all different boxes going by on the conveyor belt so relationships work health stress worries like a load of different labels and sitting back and watching my thoughts come and go and placing each thought into each box so if i have a worry or a thought about work I'll put it into the work box and keep sectioning my thoughts onto this conveyor belt and while I'm doing so I'll label if it's just a thought if it's a fact or if it's emotional reaction I'm having to the thought that distance really helps me figure out what is going on in my brain and it can really help me just break down them thoughts and then it really can take that power away from them thoughts and it helps you take back the control of your thoughts because you are the master of your thoughts your thoughts don't master you and mindfulness of your current thoughts can really help you gain that control back. although I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate since the pandemic started nearly two years ago now I spend a lot of my time in the same four walls sitting over my laptop or should I say slouched with my shoulders bent back spine curved like my posture is an absolute joke as a human species it's not how we're meant to spend most of our day so 
I now prioritize moving my body and exercising more than I ever have before and I've been finding Jumondo so helpful for helping to keep me motivated. If you're not familiar with Jumondo, Jumondo is an app with over 300 motivational workouts and they have over 30 programs on there to choose from, from HIIT to yoga to Pilates to strength training. They have a variety of everything and over the last few weeks I have started yoga because it's something I have wanted to start for years but I never have because I didn't know where to begin and classes really intimidate me but I love how with Jumondo it feels like I'm in a class without actually being in a class because I get super motivated from being around other people working out but I'm not a huge fan of the gym so that's why Jumondo is amazing because I still get that feeling of you know being feeling like I'm with other people working out but I'm actually in my own little bubble which is where I am the happiest and it's also an amazing activity to be mindful during it's just so great to kind of have an instructor there talking you along giving you that push talking you through it even with yoga like I find it so grounding how the instructor will constantly be reminding you to breathe when to breathe in when to breathe out it's like a guided mindfulness practice in itself they also have more than 800 recipes on the app along with a customizable shopping list which I find great for them low days I have where for a meal I want to just grab a big bag of crisps but I know if I make myself a smoothie it's going to benefit my physical and mental health a lot more so having some recipes just to hand that I can just grab up and I don't have to do a lot of thinking the app kind of just does it for me it really benefits me on those lower days to keep my motivation going and um, but you can actually get a free trial right now if you click the link down below in my bio and you can go over and see if it interests you and if it does interest you you can get 25% off all memberships using my code Jessie B. So we'll leave the link down below if you want to check it out. And thank you so much, Jumondo, for collaborating with me on today's video. Moving on to our next habit is I say affirmations instead of affirmations daily. Now, this is something that I actually came across on TikTok and I cannot tell you how healing and therapeutic it has been for me. Pay attention to what happens in your body as I say these affirmations. I have everything I need. I deserve love. I can get through this. I am enough. Now notice what happens in your body when I say the words what if in front of those sentences. What if I have everything I need? What if I deserve love? What if I can get through this? What if I am enough? Affirmations feel true, whereas affirmations can often feel like you're trying to fool yourself into believing something that you don't believe. Affirmations plant seeds of possibility and they also plant seeds of hope, I feel. Our next habit is to tidy your space every day. And this is something that I struggled with for the longest time. And I know a lot of people who suffer with depression, anxiety, can really struggle with this and the room can just become a big black hole and um, that you can really struggle to dig your way out of. But setting myself a 10 minute timer every day really helps. Um, a timer is amazing for any tasks that you don't really want to do or anything that you're finding a little bit daunting because it puts a limit on it and you know you're going to be done pretty soon. But what I often find with cleaning when I set my timer is I actually get into the rhythm of things and I actually start to enjoy it and I can often become very mindful while doing it if I have my music on and you know by the time you're done cleaning you will feel a sense of productivity and also a dopamine rush which is an amazing little boost to get early in your day um, and all for the sake of a little 10 minute timer, you know? Moving on, so I am one of the biggest advocates for spending sacred time alone. As an introvert, as a Pisces, I've always spent extended periods of time alone. However, I've also experienced spending days and days alone and nearly forgetting what human interaction feels like because I feel so lonely and I therefore nearly isolate myself even further because I feel like I don't deserve connecting to my loved ones. So reaching out to a loved one can really help stop you spiraling I cannot tell you how many times just picking up that phone or just sending that text has saved me from my own brain which leads us into our next habit which is to be aware of energy vampires only in recent years have I learned that not all human interaction is draining overwhelming and extremely exhausting I used to spend time with people just for the sake of spending time with people and again in recent years I've learned that you can actually be much lonelier around the wrong people than you will be alone 
alone. There are people out there who will make you want to be a better person, who will inspire you, who will show you what unconditional love is, who will, you know, be nothing but excited and happy for you and all of your achievements and everything that you do bring to the table. There are people out there like that. Wait for them people. Wait for them freaking people. My circle is so small, so small, okay? Um, and I am absolutely fine with that, but I also have empty seats at my table where I am waiting to find my tribe and find the right people who, you know, we get, connect with on a deeper level. I spend a lot of time alone still and I have absolutely no problem with that because I'd much rather spend time alone and be at peace and be content than spend time around people who don't have my best interest at heart. If you focus and work on becoming the best version of yourself and you focus on becoming the person you want to be, then you are going to attract the right people into your life. I'm gonna have to say this next one louder for the ladies in the back, but limit your screen time. So I have notifications turned off for pretty much everything on my phone, apart from like WhatsApp, any kind of app where people need to get in contact with me pretty urgently. They're the only apps that I have notifications on, but I also keep an eye on my screen time and I'll make sure I take a chunk of time every single day to just put my phone down and not engage with it, not be picking it up, looking at it, just completely let it be. So that's normally when me and Jeremy would go for a walk or else it's also in the evenings when we watch telly. So just to kind of dedicate a period of time in your day where you know you're present and you're not on your phone because when you're on your phone you are having thoughts that you wouldn't be having if you weren't on your phone you are being bombarded by everybody else's thoughts and you my darling have enough thoughts in your own brain so put their thoughts down just for just for a couple hours in the day your brain will thank you for it you all know how much of an advocate i am for gratitude so every single evening what i do is i'll take out my notebook and i'll write down three things that i was grateful for that day even if i had the worst day in history i was still try to find three things i was grateful for and they're normally things that come up during my mindfulness practice so whether it be I took a mindful walk or a mindful meal or whatever I did mindfully there's always something that comes into my gratitude that night which again just shows that mindfulness really helps us slow down um, and also realize what blessings we do have what blessings are in front of us because this world moves at such a fast pace but humans weren't meant to move at such a fast pace. So kind of pulling it back to our basics and where we actually come from. And know. last and most importantly, stop judging yourself and start accepting yourself. You're here for a reason. And it's okay if you're not doing yoga, you're not meditating, you're not going for walks, you're not reading books. The worst thing you can do to yourself is judge yourself. Radical acceptance is key to contrasting those negative thoughts. You know, my room is messy by YouTube standards and I lay in bed for five hours today and I watch TikTok, but I still love myself and that's okay. So those are some habits that I try my best to practice on a daily basis. I really hope it helps some of you guys. Also a reminder that you can click the link down below in my description box to get a free trial from Jamando. Highly recommend a free trial. What have you got to lose? But yeah. Thank you so much for watching my darlings. I really hope it was helpful that one of you maybe took something from it and thank you so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye bye friends.